Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video from my last video uh, when I was talking about the um, 80 Tiny uh, 85 uh, wearable that I made. Um, I wanted to go into more detail about this uh, pogo pin header that I made because I didn't really talk about it much in the video. Um, it's because, uh, like I said in the other video, all it does is sit on the shoulder of the other pin of the pins. Because instead of having a breakout, you could have had a breakout header. Uh, on the air somewhere and then use that just to pogo pin onto but that's more space and as you can see you know there is a lot of wasted space on this but um it just takes up space and root and rooting it out as well you know you've got your um traces there so it just gets annoying so i thought i'd come up with this which is just pogo pins six pogo pins two headers uh two male headers they just um orientate it left and right um on it and then what you do is I've kind of orientated this chip the wrong way, really. I should have done it uh, the other way because it makes it a bit hard to get the clothes peg, clothes peg on. But as you can see, you can just orientate it like that, put the clip on. It is a bit tricky, but once it's on, you could hold it with your hand, but you risk shorting out the pins. But as you can see, that's why with the pogo pins, you see it's not quite level, but they obviously take up the slack. Um, and then what you do is attach, attach your header, program your header, and away you go. Um, it just um, also a little bit of a pro tip I thought because normally when I um, do uh, solder these male headers, um, I normally put them in a breadboard to keep them nice and straight. Um, but I was thinking, how am I going to do this with the pogo pins? Because you have to solder them from the top. They go through a uh, through hole on these. They go through. And then they're like bent and wonky, and I thought, oh, I know what I mean. So, soldered it in at any angle, literally hold it up flat, re uh, apply heat to the bottom to the solder, and the pin literally will um, um, level itself out onto the thing. So, if you are going to get some of these and solder them, um, yeah, that's a good little tip here. But yeah, I hope this um, might give some people some ideas on uh, how to program if they're going to do something like this or they want to. Program uh, 8085. I could use this on one of my old projects that I, one of my first projects I did, when I didn't actually break out the headers. So I could go back now and program it with this, which is good. But yeah, uh, as usual, there'll be a blog in the description below. Um, probably um, GitHub with the uh, board files and some of the bits and bobs. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.